tire of this game, Revan. You have been a thorn in my side from the moment I seized the mantle of Dark Lord from your feeble grasp. You made a mistake coming here, Revan. The Starforge fuels my command of the Dark Side. You are no match for me here, and this time you will not escape. Is that what you call it? You think stripping away your power and your identity was an act of mercy, Revan? I would rather die. Spoken like a true slave of the Jedi Code. Save your preaching, Revan. I will have none of it. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you. Ha! <laughs> 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 
I was certain the defenses of the Star Forge would destroy you. But I see there is more of your own self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. I am tempted to try and capture you alive, Revan. Then I could break your will and bind you to me as my apprentice, as I did Bastila. You'll be a far greater asset to me than even Bastila and her battle meditation, if I could control you. But is it worth the risk? Perhaps you are too powerful to be my apprentice. I betrayed you when I realized my own strength was greater than yours. In time, you might try to do the same to me. Foolish words. The darkness and the light wage a constant war within you. The balance is tipped one way now, but it can easily be tipped back. Savior, conqueror, hero, villain, you are all things, Revan, and yet you are nothing. In the end, you belong to neither the light nor the darkness. You will forever stand alone. Of course. What else do you have? Fate and destiny have conspired to keep you alive despite my best efforts. They have thrust you into the role of savior. We have been inexorably pushed to this final confrontation, Revan. I see now that this can only be settled when one of us destroys the other. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat, and the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. Yeah! <laughs> 
the Republic. You are blind, Revan. Blind and stupid. The Starforge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies. You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except for one difference. I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Star Forge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the Dark Taint to me. You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Star Forge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy.
What happened? I don't There's no time to celebrate just yet. I was able to use my battle meditation to allow the Republic to break through the Sith fleet. The capital ships are in bombardment range. And that means we all have to get out of here right now before this entire complex comes down around our ears. Everyone else is already on the ship. Let's move. Stabilizers. Everyone pull back. I don't want to lose any ships when that space station goes down. We did it, Vandar. The Sith are routed, and the Starforge destroyed. But at what cost, Admiral? Where is the Ebon Hawk and her crew? party without us, Admiral. I'm sending an honor guard to escort you in. You'll be getting a hero's welcome when we all get home. Uh... 
You have defeated Malik, destroyed the Starforge, and broken the spirit of the Sith. For this, I am proud to present you each with the Cross of Glory, the highest honor the Republic can bestow. From Coruscant to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rims, you will be known as the Saviors of the Republic. On behalf of the Jedi Council, defenders of the galaxy, and sworn protectors of the Republic, I, too, would like to honor you for your actions. We Jedi now have another tale to weave into the grand history of our eternal order. The redemption of Revan, the prodigal knight. Wherever you go, you will be recognized as the saviors of the galaxy, the heroes of our age. But you must remain ever vigilant, for one day, you may be called upon yet again to defend the glory of the Republic against the tyranny of the dark side. For this is the destiny of the Jedi. <laughs>